We are at a turning point in our city's history. In the last year alone, we have seen expansive improvements from coast to coast, introduction of the state legislature, a rapidly growing state government, and replacement of decades-old infrastructure. We have seen leaders come and go, stars shine and fade, heroes rise and fall. In the past few weeks, we have seen protests at Ocean Docks and in Cardinal Park, with little response from a government which has all but abandoned its people. It is among these uncertain and worsening conditions that I have decided to step up to the plate. The city needs a true leader, someone time-tested and proven who can get the city back on track. Someone with a history of standing up for the rights of the people. Someone who cares for the future of our city. The city needs a leader with a proven record of defending people. Someone who's willing to represent the rights of the people instead of advancing an agenda. Incidents of crime has never been higher in our city. It's a growing problem which our brave men and women in uniform work hard every day to combat. At the same time, we don't provide much support for our honored military veterans or even retired civil servants. This country has always widely supported those who are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice to preserve the American way of life. Collective bargaining is on the rise, with labor unions becoming more and more common by the week. Behind strong community leaders like Charles Darby, labor unions have managed to change the terrain of business across the whole state by influencing both legislation and policy reform. At the same time, the government has taken every step it can to suppress the voice of the people deploying water tanks to disperse nonviolent protesters, to threatening workers on strike with less lethal force. If elected, my plan is simple. Cut out the nonsense and do what's right. Validate more essential rights for the people. Ensure public accountability. Provide for our men and women in uniform. And revitalize our economy by supporting businesses tooth and nail. We need to change the way we go about our days and realize that we hold the power to make a better Los Santos. Together. I'm Francis Morrison, and I approve this message.